proof. If the big three automakers were to go down, the effect would be, as you can imagine, pretty immediate in a bunch of states, particularly the state of Michigan. It wouldn't stop there, though, according to analysts. A bailout for car makers, you know, installed on Capitol Hill at this moment any, anyway. The auto in industry, though, is warning of a potential ripple effect from coast to coast. Consider this. Some industry insiders say each job at GM, for instance, supports another seven and a half American jobs. That includes your local dealerships, the suppliers, the vendors. A loss of 6,000 jobs in Lansing, Michigan, could result in the loss of 45,000 jobs across the country, according to this analysis. Virch Bernero is the mayor of Lansing, and he has got a stake in this, as you, you can imagine, and we just uh, showed you. Mayor, thanks for being here. I'm going to give you the first 30 seconds to basically make your case. You know what the arguments against you are. Why give money to these companies that haven't really proved they're going to be viable? Well, uh, Jane, these, this is one of the most productive industries on the face of the earth. The auto industry has done so much for so many. Uh, it is far beyond Michigan. It's all over this country, over 3 million jobs, $150 million contribution to the U.S. Treasury. Uh, this is an industry that has proved its weight. Unlike Washington and Wall Street, they produce more than hot air and hysteria. They produce real products that are bought and purchased all over this country, dealers that are all over the country. Uh, this is a great industry. If you think back to the Chrysler uh, aid package, that paid off. That was 30 years of productivity for Chrysler, and I believe this investment will pay off for years to come. Mayor, uh, th these, this industry is going to get a chance to resell itself to Congress coming up next month in, in just a period of a couple of days here. Let's talk about how they're going to repackage themselves. Will concessions be on the table, concessions from the companies, from the unions? Well, let's keep in mind that there's historic concessions that have just taken place that aren't even, haven't even taken effect yet. And, uh, you know, we've got new workers making $14 an hour. So one question I ask Americans and Congress to consider is how low must we go? What is a fair wage? Uh, how, how much do we have to cut in this country? I don't think that the auto industry has really very much to apologize for. These, they've helped build the middle class in this country. They've done a phenomenal job. And uh, look at who's lecturing them, Wall Street and Washington. You know, there's a double standard going on here. Washington gives $150 billion to AIG with no strings attached. And what all we're asking for is 4% of the $700 billion that has been set aside for, for this uh, economic uh, aid package. But you know the question, where does it end then? You're asking for 4%. What about electronics companies? Circuit City went down. They're going to ask for part of a percentage. And other companies as well. None of these, none of these industries, Jane, with all due respect, None of them have the track record of the auto industry. The auto industry produces real, these are real people d producing real things with a, with a multiplier effect, which you led with, about 7.5 jobs for every auto job. This industry stretches all across the country. And I'll tell you, the most sure prescription to go from recession to depression is to let this industry go by the wayside. And we've been talking about economic security. What about national security? It can't be forgotten. This isn't just ancient history. Detroit was the arsenal of democracy. This is what got us out of World War II. Heaven forbid that we get in another war where we need guns yeah. and jeeps and tanks. Who's going to produce them? Mayor, I do want to get your response because you lead me right into this quote uh, from a columnist, Tom Walsh, from the Detroit, Detroit Free Press this week. And it is interesting. He said there should be a charm offensive on Capitol Hill on the part of these auto uh, industry execs. He says the people of that industry in the 40s, as you said, transformed the car pl uh, plants into the arsenal of democracy, helped win the war, even inspired songs like Mustang Sally and Pink Cadillac in the dark days after 9-11, GM had a campaign, Keep America Rolling, 0% financing, galvanize consumers and help prevent a severe economic slump. If you want this lifeline, you throw yourself at the mercy of your American family members and hope for a big hug. Would you advise that to the CEOs? Would it work? Well, you know, we are one United States. Come on. And this isn't a charity case. Again, the Chrysler bailout worked. I hate to use the word bailout, but it worked. It was a good investment for taxpayers, and this will be a good investment. Uh, look, the auto industry has done so much for us, and it will do so much in the future. This is not your father's automobile company, to borrow a line from Oldsmobile. These companies have been retooling and transitioning and reinventing themselves. And I ask Americans and Congress fairly, have you looked at it lately? Don't assume you know what's going on in the auto, auto industry. GM makes more hybrid vehicles today than any any other company. GM outsold Toyota last year. GM produced the Motor Trend Car of the Year, the Cadillac CTS in Lansing, Michigan last year. They're producing better cars than ever before. They were turning the corner. This credit crunch was brought on by Wall Street. It's the credit crunch and the Wall Street wizards that brought them to their knees. Let's not forget that. They deserve our investment. They deserve our support, just like these other companies get. You know, we used to say what's good for GM is good for America. I can assure you, in Korea, they still say what's good for Hyundai 
Hyundai is good for Korea and the government bends over backwards to help them instead of pulling the rug out from underneath them and kicking them in the shins like we tend to do to our domestic auto industry. Mayor, I don't know if you used to sell cars, but uh, <laughs> you must have been good at it. Uh, that is the view from Lansing, Michigan, an impassioned plea uh, from the mayor there, Vern Bernero. Uh, mayor, thanks for your time. Thank you.